Hiya! So, we're back here, and I should turn the microphone down a little, because we're really close to clipping there! Uh, not too, not too bad. So, we're back on... Venus. <clears throat> Rhymes with penis. Um, okay, so, what am I going to do here? I have forgotten what I was doing. And I think what I was doing... I traded. I remember that. I showed the uh, trading um, master list that I came up with. There's no trader on the floor. And I think we have uh, uh, a choice of everybody. So, let's see what the Kip Labs do. Cool. Well, yeah, let's just do this. Let's just uh, go with the first one that's on there. It's uh, 77 degrees off of center. And we will go this way. One, two. That is, like, not right. That's a little faster. One, two. Uh, that would be 50, 40. Cool. Right, let's go up 10. Ooh, that's much faster. Okay, let's sit here and wait. So, <clears throat> I was actually, I actually thought about what my um, greeting would be. And uh, it was one of the things that I go was, uh, um, hello fan fellow randos of the internet and stuff like that. But I decided on Haya because it's a greeting and it sort of sounds slightly threatening. And I kind of like being th slightly threatening. It's, you know, my... My general state of being, I don't know, I don't sound, I don't come across like that on videos, but um, that is, that is how I'm uh, generally described um, by other people, is uh, slightly threatening. And we've got 88. We are worse off! Okay, let's go up to 50 then. Let's see where that puts us. Is that any faster? Let's go five more. Whoops, no, not that much. I should really automate this, and I can automate it just with a single button. So, like, when you start seeing green on the screen, you push the button, and then you release it once you get to the quarterway mark. Then you move, and you do it again, and the, um, the script will look at the time difference it takes to do that, but the, it, it, it uh, relies on the person doing the clicking being very uh, accurate. And it'll move the... Uh, the, the uh, Oh, that's the fan. Uh, that's the turbine. It, it'll move the, uh, the satellite outside. I heard a whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I didn't know what it was. Okay, are you up there yet? Are you Are you gonna, like, you just, see, you got a little bit left. Just go. 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 90. That's even worse. Okay, we'll go back down to 45. And we'll change you two more that way. That's faster. One more. That's about the same speed. <laughs> I do this in real life. When I'm hyper, I pace and I run around and things like that. That's the gift of having ADD. <laughs> real ADD, not like 90s ADD where, you know, parents and teachers just want to just want com uh, compliant zombies. I was diagnosed with ADD, like, in the middle of the 80s, the sort of early middle 80s, where mm, it wasn't really all that uh, common in North America and Canada, 62, and it took, so it took three months for them to diagnose me. The doctor even came and um, um, observed me in school. I'm in a textbook somewhere. Isn't that cool? I'm a textbook case. We there yet? Forty-five. We're getting diminishing returns now. Uh, yeah, we're getting diminishing returns. So let's go to forty. Let's see what happens. Ooh, 
bad mojo. I think I was up here to begin with. 35, I think that's okay. Oops, no, I want 55. That's a little better. I'm stuck. 60. 125. 70. Okay, now we're gonna go this way. 80 degrees. Wrong way. No. Split the difference. 15. 15. Light on. 17. 12. 6. 1, 2, 3. What does that say? 4. That's probably good enough. I didn't. Even, I didn't even need to work that hard. Okay, Tool Corp, get down here. I have to turn the pad on. Yeah, it sucks. I'm gonna make switches for that. I don't want to keep doing it like this, even though I don't think it's that much of an imposition. I can put switches on that far wall there. Now, where is? The landing pad. Landing pad. There we go. Buffalo. Okay. Land. You sovereign dickhead. I don't know what that means. There we go. Now, we got, we got a guy there. And, um, how much water do we have? I haven't looked at that in a while. That's not how you look at water. Yeah, we still got lots. Let's see how our plants are doing. Our plants are doing thrivingly well. Um, <clears throat> once we get this crop, crop, blah, 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 blah. Once we get this crop in, I think I'm going to expand that way. And I'm going to put in a bunch of hydroponic trays. And I will connect the trays up to a here, and we will uh, expand our grow pro our, our grow process. I think this game should let us grow drugs like RimWorld. RimWorld. Okay, stop being hyperactive. Go outside. Waste tank critical. Yes, yes, yes. Waste tank critical. Waste tank critical. Whatever. I think waste tank's critical because it's been sitting there sucking in, um, sucking in air. Because it's a suck hole. There we go. Air tank critical. There we go. And I need to put my my mitt back on. We're gonna close that. We're gonna do that. And we still haven't automated because I am lazy. Even though I could just very easily go clicky clicky clicky, I didn't do that. I don't know why I didn't do that. I just didn't. Let's see if he's got anything we want to buy. We may, um, offer him shit. Um, uh, didn't I see you before? Medium filter. Access card, who gives a crap? Harvey's. Generator. Motherboard. Music machine, who the hell cares about the music machine? Did you know it's not even on the wiki? Oh, and the Wikipedia is being defaced, did you see that? I'm not sure how much is being defaced, but there's there's a bunch of, like, random uploads on the Stationary Wiki Wikipedia. Um, from, like, passport uh, hints and things like that. Like, they're useful articles, but I don't know why they're on a Stationary website. Like, it just seems kind of strange. Grow light. Peace lily. Okay, seed tray, tank, atmospheric analyzer. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. Ooh. Let's buy some pumpkin seeds. Uh, let's buy all your pumpkin seeds. Okay. Uh, I'm selling the iron. No, I'm not selling iron. Yes, I am selling. Oh, this is all of my stuff. Okay. I remember now. I put a lot of shit in there to sell. Oh, oh no. $70 is about, is about how much we got last time for wrenches, right? I don't remember. Tool belt. Six. Okay. 
Yeah, wire cutters are about seventy dollars too. So this seems like uh, more of the same. Sorter cards have really dropped in price. I think I might have saturated the market or something has pushed the value down. Uh, Electrium, yes please. Oh, I only got $45 left. Yeah, I think that's about it. I can give him wrenches or cable cutters, but I think I'm also out of iron. Um, you stay on the pad for, for a minute, because I'm going to fleece you. I'm going to fleece you like your... Uh, like your grandma just before a Las Vegas trip. Oh no, I can't move it out here. Okay, let's see what the temperature of this bad boy is. Because this is important, because we're almost... I think we can make Constantine now, uh, without much problem. Well, let's look over the vast emptiness. I have been thinking about making an ogre. Oh, and we still haven't put up the uh, uh, the solar panels. I was editing that video yesterday or the day before that or something, and I noticed that I made the solar panels, but I didn't I didn't install them. And I mean, that's not a great loss because we're still. I'm in a hole. Jetpack on. I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. Okay. Um, we're still at like 90% charge, so it doesn't really super matter. But once we get the Constantine, we can get the glasses. That'll speed up the mining. We can also make the more heavier miner, so that's um, will help us along a bit. By the way, I did just take my medication. That's why I'm super hyper. Uh, normally, it's like uh, later. Well, it is later in the night, but I took a nap today. I don't normally take naps. Here we go. Light on. Okay, so let's Air try to critical. do try to do some uh, do dad here. There we go. Okay, do we have much in the way of iron? I don't think we do. We've got four grams of iron, so we need to go out and get more. Uh, let's turn you off. And is that on? Yes, it is on. We'll reset the um, the thingy with a dish on it. Because I think we're going to go for more mining right now, because uh, we don't exactly have a lot in the way of stuff. How are you guys doing? You guys are doing fine. How much water is in there? Your water is doing super fine. So... Uh... Are those... No, that's the atmospheric. Did I sell them? Power controller, shoots... Passive vent, atmospherics. Uh, they could be outside. <sighs> okay, so... Is this going to blow up? That is close to blowing up. So, we will need to get that out of there. Um, before we process any more... Um, uh, mine, uh, mineral... Uh, metals... Blah, 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 blah. Ice be good, yes. Okay, so we're going to need more frames. Do we have any steel? Because I could print out steel frames. Yes, we have lots of steel. So uh, let's print out steel frames and steel sheets. That's that's going to be a good idea. And I kind of want to bring that vending machine inside. Was that steel? That's not steel. Steel is kind of a a bluish yellow bluish silvery color like that okay go that over there and we will grab our chutes and we won't put it through the wire because it won't go through a wire 
Oh, it will go beside a wire, though. Hmm. Let's just re let's just redirect the wire. That's the easiest thing to do. Why am I doing complicated things? Stop overthinking it. Mm -hmm. Don't hum music. We don't want to get stuff on the the thing on the video because I don't know how to deal with it. And I don't want to learn. There we go. There we go, Buffalo. And more wire. I'm super. Thanks for asking. Eh, I don't know how much they stack to. So let's just go to 500. There we go. And yes, I do hold the mice, the mouse, the mice, whatever, the mouse closer to the uh, microphone to do that. Because I'm obnoxious. Frame. Steel frame. And just go until I get bored. Do I have any steel sheets? I do have steel sheets. I've got quite a few, so that won't be too bad. Hydration critical. I have never seen anybody drink as much as this station here. Like, I say that in a lot of games, where the characters drink way too much. I don't drink this much in a day. Like, like they're constantly sipping on stuff. And the soup should have a lot of water in it. Even if you don't add any water, it should have a lot of water in it. Like, what are you packing the corn in? I can see if we were eating, like, um, salt-preserved stuff. Oh, oh, story, story, story. I say I don't drink a lot as I take a drink of, of, um, homemade iced tea. So, I like doing experiments in real life, too. And I like discovering things. And I fancy myself a really bad writer that wants to get experiences so I can write about them. In the Age of Sail, um, what they used to do when they go on voyages is they would pack meat in salt to dry out all the water and so bacteria wouldn't grow in it. So to experience what that was like, because I wanted to write a pirate story, uh, this was shortly before the Pirates of the Caribbean came out and then that kind of ruined it for me, um, I made um, salt beef and I... Um, made a little bit of a brine and I, I sliced up um, uh, beef strips and I put them in the pe in the um, pickle preserve kind of thing there was a lot more salt in it it, looked, it was more like a like a paste like something you'd get out of a battery or something and um, I left it in the jars for like 90 days and then after the 90 days I had 90 day year old um, beef. I boiled it up and I ate it and it didn't taste bad. It didn't taste good either. I didn't get sick or anything but it was it was an interesting experience to say the least. Okay, how many frames do we have in here? We have 17 frames. Uh, we still got a bunch of steel in there. So this, I'm going to make this one the last one and then I'm going to put our steel sheets in there because I would like to have some more steel sheets so you're gonna go here oops I threw the wrong thing in there and I think those stack to 30 right steel sheets oops stack oops 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 stack to 30 don't know why it doesn't just go in there Steel sheets, 50. So, steel sheets, print. What? Oh. 
Uh, steel sheets. There we go. Pop. Now, since I did just take my medication, you might see over the next, well, what was 30 minutes back then, and it's probably like more like 10 or 15 minutes now, you will see that I'll slowly start calming down, because it actually works for me. If it wasn't for... Um, I don't know if I can say the name of the drug. Well, everybody knows what Ritalin is. I'm not on Ritalin. I'm on something else. I am on amphetamines. But uh, it super really works for me. And it worked for me in school, too. But I didn't take it while I was at school. That's a whole other really stupid story. But whatever. Okay, so I have 17 of these. I have 20 of these, so I'll need at least 40. And I think we'll stop at 40. And it super works for me. It, like, lowers my anxiety level down. It just makes me feel much calmer, much more able to relate to people. I take a fairly high dosage, too. Like, you'd be kind of shocked at how high of a dosage I take. And that's... That's my life with everything. I take a high dosage of just about everything, except for my... Um... Uh, Anti-inflammatory steroid. I take the lowest doses of that. That seems to work really well. Okay, let's shut you off and shut you off and shut you off and shut you off and shut you off. Save some power. We'll check on you one last time. You are doing beautifully, my children. My pretties. And I do not want to leave anything on the floor because it's just going to end up getting blown away somewhere. We'll put you in the tool bin for now. I'm probably going to put them in a vending machine. Because then I can just vend them out easier. I wish the vending machine was like the uh, silo. And you can have 600 stacks in there, but you can't. You know what I think? That YouTube is missing a trick. That it should license all music um, on its platform. Like, if, if you are a music provider and you want music to be on the platform, you have to allow uh, YouTube to use it. Like, even if there's profit sharing or something. Because that would then allow people to play music while they're... Um, while they're gaming or something. They can play anything they want on it. Now, if you ever watched Family Guy, you will know about the bird is the word um, phenomenon. The people who um, hold the license to uh, Surf and Bird wanted $10,000 uh, uh, for the production to put Surf and Bird on the show. And you might also know that uh, when they did, um, when the production did use Surf and Bird, I think it went up to the to the top 100 charts. I don't know where it went, but like here is a, I think it's like a 70 year old song now. I think it came out in the in the 50s sometime. Like I think it might have it, it might have uh, been at home in uh, Back to the Future. I'm not 100 percent sure when it was when it was released, but it's that kind of thing. And it soared to, po to popularity, and people started listening to it on YouTube and on Spotify and all that kind of stuff. So these... Um, oop, just burned out. These, um, these corporations... It, it really seems like they're allergic to, to money or something, because uh, that's not a big battery. I thought I had a big battery somewhere. Uh, no, I guess I didn't make any more big batteries. Um, because if they just let people use their music, um, other revenue streams would show up uh, super quickly. But they don't. Like, um, anybody who's an, who's an indie musician knows that if you give your music out for free, um, the likelihood that you're going to have somebody buy an album goes up significantly um, and if you don't then you just languish in in uh, obscurity 
Uh, why did I put that there? Yeah, okay, I don't know why I put that one down. I don't need that one. And that's a major problem to getting your, your work out there. The, the hardest thing about um, getting yourself noticed as, as, a, as a, an artist is, you know, just getting people to know your name. Just getting people to realize that you exist. Because as soon as somebody knows that you exist, they're going to start consuming your art. It's just, you know, it's just the nature of things. But corporations, they're short-sighted and greedy. And I'm, I'm definitely not holding uh, on. Seth MacFarlane up as somebody who's not among that group of people. He might seem uh, like a, uh, a nicer and more relatable guy, but the fact of the matter is, is he's still a rich dick that is probably cheating on his taxes like everybody else, every other rich person is. I don't know that for sure, but I'm just saying, if you have money, you are probably cheating on your taxes to keep more of that money in your pocket. Again, the nature of things. And even if you are paying all the taxes you are supposed to, um, the system is designed in such a way that you're not going to pay as much tax percentage-wise as, you know, somebody with less money. When I was a teenager and I worked at McDonald's, um, more of my uh, salary and stuff went to taxes than when I was, you know, when I owned my own business. And I, I owned a business um, in the time where it was 80% um, of your profits went to taxes. There was, of course, there's, of course, write-offs and stuff, and I used those to my advantage, but I mean... Okay, this, this, this. Do I want to expand one more out this way preemptively? No, I don't. Let's just, let's just leave it at this for now. We still haven't mined anything, and that needs to be done. Oh, I should go look to see Get if the... On. If these guys need to be repaired, and they do not. And did I just throw something? I don't know. And there's the solar panels! I only have two for some reason. And... Let's put them up. Let's get ourselves a little bit more power. Oh, we don't have any cables. And I pushed the wrong button. Now, this will get in the way of one another, but... Oh, and I don't have any glass. That was a preemptive disaster. Whatever. I said, whatever. Uh, and now they're going to get damaged. Could have waited, could have waited, could have waited. Didn't, didn't, didn't. That goes over here. Okay, so we have this now opened up over here. And hopefully we did this right, and we're not about to die. Nope, that doesn't look like we're about to die. Temperature high. What, 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 what? Oxygen critical. What? It, where's it coming from? What just happened? There is nothing exposed over here. What the hell just happened?
And how the hell is this warming up faster than the outside air? What? That's not cool. That's like super not cool. Okay, when's the last save? Can I go back and try... Oh, can I go back and try that again? Let's just save where we were. Even though I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's the last save. And did we open it up at this point? Or did we just about to open it up? It looks like we opened it up already. So let's go back to this save here, and let's see if that'll happen again. Because I have a theory, and the theory is, is that the dirt um, in this game is actually hot. That's what I think. That's my theory. And that if you have a dirt ground in the game... Uh, did I want this one? No. Okay, that was... I remember that. Even though I just, just did it. Okay, we'll pull that up. And then we'll pull this up. Okay, is that everybody? Um, this one I want in there just because I want in there. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Why, Jay? I don't know why. I told you not to ask me. Is anybody old enough to remember Get Smart? You know, the guy who went on to later play uh, Inspector Gadget? Okay, so everything is buttoned up. There is... And everything is sealed. Okay, so we shouldn't have any kind of a heat glitch. This should just... Oops, there we go. This should just open up, and we should maintain the same temperature we have... Um, just with a lower air pressure. Unless there is, like, a pocket of air trapped somewhere that we can't see. Or interact with. Okay, let's, let's save quickly here so we can repeat tests. So, we are at 29... 20... 29 degrees Celsius. Filter low. Oh. Well, uh, I'll put our critical. thing over here. Waste time critical. Put that over here. Let's turn this back on because I turned it off for some stupid reason. Filter low. Okay, that ranges us up to 30 degrees, but that is not a huge issue. Okay, we're at 31 degrees, and we will remove this first. And we will look in there to see if we can see anything. So we just have that ground sitting there. Now, let's open it up and see if that releases sudden heat. It's not. Okay, let's see if opening this one up releases some sudden heat. Okay, I don't know what that was. Like, why did we get a sudden release of heat? Did I leave did I leave this on? No, that was empty. Did I Like, is there anything around here that I could have hit that would have released sudden heat? Like, I don't understand what was going on here. So, this was this was low to begin with. That was low to begin with. That had, that potentially had a little heat, but we didn't remove that. This was open all the time, so... 
where did that thermal energy come from that just sort of popped into existence for no reason? Okay, let's reload one more time. I know, I know, I know. Just bear with me. This is, this is, this is how I find stuff in video games. If there's bugs or something. Uh, I think that's my exit. Yeah, that's the exit. And that's the one. Okay, there we go. This is how you find bugs and stuff. When you see something that looks, that happens that's a little odd, just keep repeating. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that with hot gas Air in it. Because that's the only thing that I did that was different. We're going to open that. I'm going to leave that there. And then I... Let's rapidly open up these two areas and see if that gives us any kind of thermal spike. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where the temperature came from. Maybe if I deconstruct that? No. I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Is there anything else I could have accidentally opened up? Is there anything hot in here I could have hit? No. I, I genuinely do not know what happened. Yep. It's one of those strange, unfair things that the game likes doing to you. It makes no freaking sense. Let's clean this up. Okay. Clean up complete. And then we'll put the... The thing of lobber down back here, exactly where it was over here. Get rid of these frames. We're still not increasing uh, thermal energy any. So, fuck you, game? Yeah, I think that's what we're going with. We're going to go with fuck you, game. Unless, unless the game is, like, designed to give you, like, random misery like that. And then, you know, double fuck you, game. Triple fuck you game. Is there a quadruple fuck you game in here too? Quadruple fuck you game. Um, quin quadruple is four quintip quintiple quintiple. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Just, just, just play the game. There you go. There you go. Don't uh, don't expect things to make sense in a a designed. Uh, world. This is why there can't be a god. Because, you know, the world works a little too well to be created by one person. You know, if we can't even make a video game, how could a god make a universe? That's eh, not funny enough. I'll think of something funnier. Can I put this in here? Do I have enough room for that? Anything else in here? No. Okay. Well, let's see if this will release heat over here. Oxygen critical. Did that heat up? I think that popped up a degree, didn't it? Okay. Well, let's see what the exact temperature in here is. The exact temperature is 30.07.08, so it's raising slowly. Now, that's not much of an increase, so I don't know. We're going to be defaulting back to fuck you a game again, because, you know, that wasn't fair.
super. Okay. Now, we got everything like this. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to probably move these back over here. But uh, I might want to do something else. What's our pressure at? 78 kilopascals. Turn this back on. This will raise our temperature a little. How are you guys? You guys are thriving. There is nothing toxic in the air, so we're gonna we're gonna chuck that uh, that one up for the for the heroes, and we want to get rid of this. There, super. Now, now that we have you sitting there, and you are probably going to go right here on the way outside. Probably. Like, I'm going to put you right there for now. And we'll route the wire inside the wall here, or just come down the wall or something. The entrance to our star base, our star pad, will be through here, probably. And uh, we'll make that an airlock, just for because we need to uh, decompress the, um, the landing pad. What else are we going to go for here? This needs to be moved. And I think I might put that on the wall. If I move these two things out of there, where would I put them? I don't know. Let's just put this on the wall and we'll decide um, the greater things later more super things later because you know stuff and things this way yeah this way this way will be out of the way and we need the switchy switch I said there we go switchy switch thank you don't make me angry you wouldn't like me if I'm angry I'm annoying when I'm angry why can't I go here what is right there? Oh, I know what's right there. Um, the heavy watt wires on the other side of the wall is on the uh, on the um, on the other side of the wall right there. That's what it is. You know, sometimes when I watch people play video games, and I think, how did they remember that they put something there? I just remembered that I put something there. And I didn't think I would, but I did. Oh. Um. Damn. Oh, well, I'll do that next time. I just remembered I was going to do something funny and odd, but I'll have to remember it for next time. Let's grab some heavy watt wire. Oh, we have no heavy watt wire. That's because we have no gold, right? No, we have lots of gold. We can make some heavy watt wire. Okay. And I'm going to pause the game to contemplate um, what I'm going to do. And I want you to know um, that I am not going to the bathroom. I am, <laughs> I am pausing to have some deep thought about how I want to reorganize this thing. And I don't think that you should just... Uh, stand there listening to me to could go hmm for a few minutes and it has nothing to do with me going to the bathroom whatsoever i really got to get out of this streamer mindset so just to reiterate i was in deep contemplative thought and i wasn't just making a 20 second joke about having to go to the bathroom and while doing so, I did not think about Bruce Willis shutting, oh no, Mr. Toilet Man, um, <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Fuck, I'm strange. Oh, God. This is me, um, well, you know, in, in good spirits and health, which I haven't really been for the past couple weeks. 
I was like super sick uh, around uh, um, New Year's. Okay, here we go. So, I could make a room for these right now or I could just leave them where they are and I think I'm gonna opt for leaving them where they are. Oh, I need steel for uh, uh, for heavy watt wire. And I realized that heavy watt wire isn't in this game. It's called heavy cable or something like that. And that heavy watt wire is a oxygen not included thing. But quite frankly, oxygen not included is a better game. Now, if this was oxygen not included um, first person, that would be super. No, that's wrong. There we go. Coil up wire. Oh, it's golden copper, not golden steel. Why did I think it was golden steel? Cool. Now, we don't know what he wants. We're going to figure that out later. Oh, here we go. We're going to shut this down. Perfect. And we're also going to let you just print... Oops. We're also going to let you just print out for a while. While we put this wire up. We have room for a bunch more, so we can put another one this way, and then another one the other way, and then we'll have all three switches for out there. And eventually we'll make this a control room, maybe like right there or something, where it, or the, uh, um, the airlock into the starbase will be like, say, right here. So this will be the airlock. And then this will be like just a, a hollow one square tile where the computer and the controls and everything will be. And the satellite will be like on the far side, kitty cornered over there. And then over here, on the other side of this, of a, of a glass wall, there will be the uh, outlets for the... Sorry, I had to cough. Uh, will be the glass walls for the... Um, um, uh, uh, gas and uh, liquid outlets. Do do do. So, let's pick up all of our shit because we're good little boys and girls. Not really, but sort of. We we need to keep our rooms clean, or else our mom will beat us. Printers are gonna have their own own place soon. So, at some point. Okay. So, and now we have a bigger space. And the reason that we wanted to do this was so that we could grab the atmospheric, atmospheric. And we could put this uh, this way. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't run those pipes yet. Ah, crap. Okay, so that's going to go there temporarily. We like doing things temporarily. And we need more um, uh, insulated pipe. So we need steel. Did I put steel in here? Gold, copper, and steel. So steel is in here. Steel. And I need silicon. And I'm not putting them back in there. I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get grab the vending machine. But I have to take everything out of the vending machine then. Oh man. It's so hard to do things and be lazy at the same time. There's gotta be a way to be like active and lazy. When are they when is this they're gonna have like uh, direct brain computer interfaces so I can just think to do something? Yeah, but then I'm just going to get lazy and not want to think. 
And quite frankly, we're all a little already like that. <clears throat> Who else? When they, you know, remember? I don't know if they do this anymore, but it used to be really popular in the 80s and stuff, where you could set your your games up to play themselves, where you could have two AI characters fighting each other. I think Punch Out did that, like on the Nintendo. Maybe not, but there was there was quite a few games where you could set it up where the where player one and player two were both the computer and you could get them to do things against one another and you wouldn't need to play the game. You could just watch it play itself. I miss those days. Although I guess this would be a little more complicated to, you know, set up as a an AI adventure. What's this? Liquid connector. We don't need a liquid connector. Oh, and I put the wrong one in there. I need you in that form. Okay, that's it. We don't need any more of you. Go away. Mostly because we're not using the rest of these. Uh, this is going to be replaced with steel, with the just normal pipe. And can I get in there? No, I cannot. So we won't. I won't even try. I'm just going to cover this in a um, a sheen of protective with protection. That's not the right thing. Oh. Oh, they're two different kinds of frames. Silly me. Tricks are for kids. There we go. Super! Now we're cooking with propane and propane accessories. Now we're going to put you here, and we're going to put you here. And uh, we need more chutes. And I'm pretty sure we can get chutes out of the pipe bender as well. It might even come out a little faster. Chutes. 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 What, what do you need? You need iron. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants you. And I have no iron. Can I make... make I can make one shoot. That actually might be enough to get me out of the wall. And I need these for uh, a reroute. Light on. Do I need to take any action with you yet? No. Because you need to get you need to generate a seed first, and that should be relatively easy. And I think that will be good for me, good for you, good for the species in general. Push L first. Bye bye. Seeator. I also need to make a labeling tool. Cool. So, let's fix the... I forgot the glass. Jetpack on. It won't be the... <gasps> it blew... It blew them away, or did I not put them on? I don't understand. I guess I put. I guess I tried. I guess I put them on after I. After the save, so. I thought they blew away. I was gonna start crying. Oh, you bastard. Jetpack on. Okay. Mommy.
Particle man, particle man. Size of the entire universe man. Usually kind to smaller man. Particle man. Is he a dog or is he a speck? When he's underwater dead, he's get wet. There we go. <clears throat> nope, that's the wrong way. So we need to be at 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Jetpack on. Okay, this is where the the wire comes out, so that's not a problem. I will just do a temporary route here because this wire is going to be changed because that tank is going to be moved at some point. And then the warmer will be put somewhere else. But I like how it takes like six cables more just to do that. So you'd be one, two, three cables more. There we go. Okay, so now we got this over here. Hi, how are you? My name's Jay. I'll be your surgeon for today. And what we'll be doing is we'll be taking you apart. And I am thirsty, so we will get this done at some point. Cool. That's not going to want to go in there. So, I will do this. And I sort of got this trick from a uh, uh, cow. Cows are evil. Where you put it down. That didn't occur to me before, but uh, it makes sense. Get it to poke out of the wall. And then waste you rip it up. Caution. Okay. You don't want to mess with the waste tank because if it goes um, south, it really... Uh, you really get some really hot gas in there. Okay. And we just do this, and then we do this. Uh, piss. Okay, we'll just route it to the side for now. Actually, I don't need that there. It doesn't need to be a foot there. So we'll just do this. And then this. Just to minimize the number of pipes we need. And that's a sure way to get a null. Is if you split... Uh, a network that was unified as one network into multiple networks. Um, the game sometimes has difficulty keeping up with that, and you get a null, um, a null reference, and it's bad, and people cry. And <sighs> the UN comes out with a resolution to label you as a war criminal. Especially if you don't have tables for your people to eat at. There we go. And I know for a fact I just made that joke another video ago. Except I'm pretty sure I made the joke while playing RimWorld. Which, by the way, how the fuck do you edit RimWorld? Like, there's a lot of waiting going on. It's a, it's a good game, but when you're playing, it doesn't seem like it's that long between attacks and things happening. But when you're sitting there and you're editing the video, um, it is a super long time between things happening. Like, it's shocking how long it takes for things to go by. So, this has got a lot of crap in it. I think I might just end up making a second vending machine. That might be a lot easier. Yeah, it'll be easier if I just make a second vending machine. So this is on. There's nothing there. Do I have glass in here? I don't think so. Actually, I know I don't have glass. Does he have glass? 
you don't want to talk to me because everything's off, so I'm going to guess you don't have glass and I don't want to deal with you. Okay, whatever. Let's get back inside. This is full. Let's play some musical batteries for some things. Let's not. I need to make big batteries. I don't know why I'm procrastinating on that, but I am. Light on. Air tank critical. There. C come on. There you go. Eh. Okay, so uh, now we use our pipes to make up a temporary circuit right here. Are you going to have room? I'm going to have room. There we go. And then we grab a pedestal. Do we have one for... No. So we just steal this one. We will pop you up. We will pop you up. Whoops. There we go. And we will steal you. Hydration critical. Hydration's not critical. How much do you need to drink? Like, seriously, do you have diabetes? Should we check you out? Does it take you a really long time to heal? Does your urine smell funky? Um. Do you sometimes feel irritable? Actually, that's like, that's like a symptom for everything. That's a symptom for being alive. Do you sometimes feel irritable? Yes. Then you might be alive. Please ask your doctor if you think you're suffering from aliveness. Okay, so what we're going to pull out of here is the volatiles and the NOS, and we're going to leave the X behind because X is kind of useless. So volatiles, oops, and NOS is over here. Where's the NOS? NOS is right there. I was looking right at it. We're going to route a little bit of power. As opposed to, like, you know, all the power available. Which is um, how electricity works. It doesn't... Did you know electricity doesn't flow through the wire? It actually, it's actually in a field around the wire. Scientifically speaking. The image most people have of, like, electrons flowing through the wire, like it's water, is not really how it works. It's a useful image to teach people about electricity. Sort of like, um... What is that model of atomic structure? Is it the Bohr's model? I think it's the Bohr's model, but it's basically the, the model of atoms that looks like a solar system that everybody gets taught in, like, grade school. That hasn't that hasn't been the model that science has um, considered accurate, or that has been, you know, um, considered standard since like 1911. And and even when that um, theory was published, they already knew it was wrong when it was published. It's uh, all about probability shells and stuff. Which is like right on the outer edge of something that I consider understandable. And the only model that actually makes 100% sense and works completely in, in modeling is uh, for hydrogen atoms. As soon as you get more than one electron in your model or you start interacting with more than one atom, and the model starts breaking down so they know that it's not a complete model because in a lot of the um, mathematical results 
um, it would require an electron to pass through this, the, the nuclei of an atom for that model to exist because there's different types of ways that atoms bind to each other to form molecules and for them to work on the currently accepted model it would have to pass through the center of the atom and we're almost done injecting here and has any of the gas exploded in the first let's make sure I put the thing Mac on I did now let's see if this thing suddenly gives us a flush of heat it did not. And it did not. Good. You cheating bastard. Game's cheating. Not following its own rules. I would like to know what made the glitch, though. Is it just like phantom gas trapped in the, uh, the thingamabobber? Wait a minute. Why is there nothing in the furnace? The furnace is glitched. Shit. Oh no! I'm gonna lose all that gas! Game, you're a jerk. I remember to reconnect it, right? Okay, that's connected. I'm pretty sure I reconnected it. You are a jerk, you know that? So we've only managed to get this down to um, three megapascals. So we might actually have to vent some of the X out. And I am pretty okay with that. There. So that's done, and um, we can blow that up later, once we get it out of the goddamn tube. Oh, you, you know, you are a jerk. Through and through, you dumb game. Be consistent for once in your life, huh? You know what consistency is? Consistency is what makes a good relationship, and this is a bad relationship. I, I, I would say that we have a semi-toxic relationship here, game. Okay, let's, uh... Push everything back into the pedestal. And I'm pretty sure that if I undo the pedestal first... Um... So, uh, we're looking for 885 moles. That should be... I should push it over two kilomoles. This may not work, but let's see if it does work. I've always assumed it worked. Nope, it deleted it. Who cares? Did it delete it into the air? Nope, it just deleted it. I don't think that's very satisfying, because there's no way to get it out of the pedestal back into the into the thing. Oh, I gotta put the pedestal back down. There we go. And this is gonna be moved soon. Probably to an exterior tank. But I, I need this wall, so we're going to eh, have to eh, go to hell. Go to. There we go. See, you have to swear at it. It's like an elevator, okay? You have to push the button more than once to make sure that the elevator knows who's boss. Because if you only push it, push it once, the elevator's gonna think you're a wuss and it's not gonna come to your floor. So you have to push it once and you have to push it firmly. You have to give it a good, strong stab to teach the elevator who's boss. I think I'm funny. Okay, so let's put nitrous in there. Because volatiles are rare. I think there's only one thing that puts out volatiles. And I'm going to scratch my nose. Okay. 
So let's redistribute our things here. And that can go here. And we need glass from our glass. And we need to replace our used up um, duct tape. But I don't think we have very much iron for that. So we're going to have one tape. T A P. Duct tape. Oh, we don't have enough duct tape. So uh, we'll just uh, go with nothing. We'll, we'll have nothing and we'll like it. And I'm going to keep... No, I don't want you on the floor. I hate these on the floor. Even, even like, taking it back and forth and, and doing this over and over and over again, I feel is better than having it sit on the floor. Because I don't like it blowing around. I don't like it not knowing where it's gone. I just, I just want to know exactly where it is. Okay, now, oh yeah, I have to recover that. I forgot I had to do that, because this is not on that pipe network. And that's going to cause problems if it's not on that pipe network. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to deconstruct and construct it again, just to get it to reset, because it's fucking amazing that anything in this game ever, ever works the way it's supposed to for any length of time. And we sh our seeds should be up. Yep, our seeds are up. <laughs> now, I have to decide whether or not I'm going to plant new plants or leave that there to grow and wait until my pressure is up a little bit more. Actually, I could probably expand once again back one and then put um, trays there, but I still need iron to put trays down. Or I could just keep... Exp no, I don't want to keep expanding on these. I'll put trays down and a light. A grow light. And I think I'm just going to leave them there because I have... I have... Food still. I'm, I'm good on food. So we don't have to panic on food. Uh, put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Okay. So, should I go uh, mining? Or yeah, are we going to say that's it for today? Because that's an hour. Um, let's say that's it for today. I will put my drill in my hand so I know what I want to do next. Uh, when I reload the game. And I think I think we're okay for now. These are not going to go anywhere. And our ultimate goal is to get those glasses so we can mine like gangbusters because the mini drill, the, the small drill isn't going to work because five blocks down is bedrock so that's useless. The ogre would be a good solution if it was faster and took less electricity, but it goes, I think, 20 um, blocks length, which is a good distance. But to to get that to for it to move that entire length takes it more than 10 minutes, so that's not worth it. Um, there is the deep drill, which I can get right away. Uh, I mean, pretty soon. But I need to upgrade everything. That means more constantine and more. Or I can't use the traders because the traders have been um, nerfed in the most disgusting of ways, and you can't get very much ore out of it. And orge traders come like one every five to ten cycles, which means uh, um, two hundred to uh, yeah, hundred every between hundred and, and two hundred minutes is how long it takes for you to get a guaranteed ores trader. So, like, two hours to six hours. Well, not six hours, but I, th I think once I was trying to get a 
an organics trader, and the number of times I had to load scum would have equaled three uh, would have equaled six and a half hours of actual in-game time waiting for those timers to reset. I'm not going to spend six hours doing that. Like there is no way they have to redo this because no and uh, no, it's just no. They have to redo it. That's not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. Like either they have to make they have to guarantee that every time the trader resets, you will get one that you haven't gotten in the past, you know, three or four resets, or um, they have to give you more traders. And I think that they should make it so the harder it is to get a trader, the better the stuff they get. Right now, it's all the same. If I get an organic trader that's far away or an organic trader that's close, I get the same stuff. So what's the point in trying to get the guy that's far farther away? Like, seriously. Like, it's true, he may not come back for another six hours, but I mean, I wasn't going to wait six hours to begin with. So it's got to be fixed. It's got to be fixed. That is super annoying. And it seems like the game conveniently glitches after you sell something. So if you sell something to a trader, or if you leave it on the pad, or if you reload with him on the pad, or stuff like that, when you release him, it seems like it very commonly get glitches, and then you don't get a... Um, you don't get any traders populating your, um, your communication manager, and then it's super easy to reload. So maybe one of the, one of the uh, other devs on the team left that in just to give us a way to do things it could be like completely unrelated to anything i don't know but it's the only thing that is saving this playthrough right now is being able to get um being able to load over and over and over again to get the right traders because without traders i wouldn't have been able to get this far this fast i would have had to do a lot more mining and you can see the state of my visor here it's already like uh at 60 percent um a few more turns mining and i will smash the and my lungs are, are gone and i've taken the pill already so you know i am on my last legs here and it's dangerous for me to go out and mine because on venus it picks you up and it shakes you like a dog with a toy in its mouth seriously so we're still trying we're still trying it's not going to beat us. This game is not going to beat us. We will triumph over it. And we will prove that we are better people with absolutely no lives or something like that. I don't know. Bye.